In today's video, we are going to tell you everything you need to know about Universal Orlando's on-site transportation. If you're new here, on this channel we talk about all things theme parks, including updates, news, and tips and tricks for your next theme park vacation. So, if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hey guys, welcome back. Universal offers several different ways for you to get around the resort. They've got everything from buses, boats, walking paths, and even airport shuttles. So what we figured we'd do in today's video is talk a little bit about each of those options to try to help you get exactly where you're wanting to go. If you're anything like us, you're probably flying <sighs> into Orlando. I'm an so, so we figured we would start by talking about how to get from the airport to the resort. Yeah. Universal does offer a round trip shuttle to get you back and forth between the hotels and the airport. Mm -hmm. And for adults, this is gonna cost you $40 per person. Yeah. For children age three to nine, it's $30. And for kids two and under, it's free. They do offer a one-way shuttle if yeah. you need one for some reason. Yeah, like say you are meeting friends there or something, or you might have uh, a rental car that you're actually picking up at the hotel, so right. you have to get to the hotel first. There's all kinds of scenarios, and they have you covered. If you do want to take that one-way shuttle, it's about $10 less per person, but the shuttles do run to each of the on-site resorts, mm -hmm. so no matter where you're staying, it'll get you there. We typically take our chances with an Uber when, Not we, a sponsor. <laughs> when we visit the parks. And the reason is that they're a little bit faster. The airport shuttle does stop at all of the on-site hotels mm -hmm. instead of just taking you directly to your hotel. And the Ubers are usually a little bit cheaper. But this isn't always the case. We Not have, at all. We have had some instances where we got stuck paying like $50 to $80 just to get to our hotel. Exactly what she's talking about is when we went to uh, Universal for our anniversary back in March. Mm -hmm. Right around spring break, we get to the airport, we're so excited, check on the Uber prices, and they are like $80. I think we paid... $78 uh, for that Uber, and mm -hmm. that's ridiculous for like a 10-minute drive. Uh, yeah, so it's not foolproof, but a lot of times you can save some money by looking at Uber or Lyft. If you are wanting to book Universal's Superstar Shuttle, it's not quite as easy as just buying tickets on their website. If you are purchasing an entire vacation package, this is something you can include as an add-on. But if you already have tickets for the parks purchased, or maybe you already have a hotel booked, you can call Universal's customer service line and add this to your reservation. Don't worry too much about this part. Um, because we've crunched the numbers for you and it really just doesn't make sense. Right. Unless you are traveling solo. Um, Ubers typically are gonna be 25 or $30 and that's not per person, that is each way. Mm -hmm. um, so for us, it's not cost effective. We've had Ubers as cheap as maybe $18 where it would right. have saved us like $4 uh, <laughs> that time. Uh, the, like I said, the only time it really could save you a lot of money is if you're traveling solo because you're guaranteed and locking in that rate of $20 each way. Once you get to the resort, there are a few different ways that you can get back and forth between your hotel and the parks. The first one that we're going to talk about is buses because this is an option regardless of what hotel that you're staying at. The buses run from your hotels to both Volcano Bay and CityWalk. In case you weren't aware, CityWalk is the hub that's just outside of both Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. It's where all of those amazing restaurants that you hear us talking about constantly are located. That is all CityWalk. To get to either Universal Studios or Islands of Adventure, you do have to go through CityWalk first. And the buses run about every 15 minutes and they pick you up just outside of the main lobby for each resort. One of the biggest issues with taking the buses to CityWalk is that this is the same entrance that everyone else has to use. So whether it's locals or anyone else that has to park in that main parking garage, they're going to be coming through this entrance and it can cause really huge lines. Yeah, so right there before you get into CityWalk, you actually have to go through security. Mm -hmm. And we have seen some just, <laughs> I mean, 
pileups right there. It, yeah. There have been long lines, and it's taken us, I mean, 30 minutes to get through security and get into City Walk. So we just typically avoid doing that. The only time that we take advantage of these buses is if we're staying at either of the endless summer resorts, because this is the only option to get to Universal Studios or Islands of Adventure. That, or if our feet really hurt, sometimes we just don't feel like walking. If you're staying at any of the on-site hotels except for either of the endless summer resorts, you do have the option of taking the walking path. Inside each of these hotels, there will be signs that'll lead yeah. you to the walking path and then signs along the way that'll guide you all the way to the parks. Now, depending on where you're staying, uh, changes how long <laughs> that walk is. Yeah. So say from our favorite resort, which is uh, Hard Rock, mm -hmm. That walk is generally only like four minutes. Mm -hmm. um, you can get there in probably three minutes if you're walking really fast. Uh, but then somewhere else that we stay quite often, which is Cabana Bay, mm -hmm. that walk <laughs> is, I mean, up right around 20 minutes. Like yeah. it can fall anywhere. Like the first day, it's like 18 minutes. But like <laughs> the fourth day, it's like 25 minutes. Yeah. So all the other hotels fall somewhere in between that. Mm -hmm. I believe that Cabana Bay is the furthest away as far as the walking path goes. Even though the walk from some of the hotels is actually longer than the bus ride itself, one of the main benefits to walking- Heart health. <laughs> is that you don't have to deal with that city walk main entrance. Thought it was gonna be heart health. <laughs> no, each walking path, so you've got one of course on the studio side and right. one on the island side, depending mm -hmm. on which hotel you're coming from. But they have their own security hub. It's really just one metal detector. Mm -hmm. And there are hardly ever lines there. So you get through that a lot quicker. And you are right there at the bridge to either Universal Studios or Islands of Adventure. Universal does offer a third transportation option for some of the on-site hotels, and that is water taxi. So you can get the water taxi service at Sapphire Falls and the three premier hotels, mm -hmm. which include Hard Rock, Portofino Bay, and Royal Pacific. The water taxis allow you to skip the long lines at the main entrance mm -hmm. and avoid those long walks to the park. The way that it works is that there's a dock right outside each of these hotels yeah. where you'll go through security and then board a boat that will drop you off right in the middle of City Walk itself. Not only are the water taxis one of the most convenient ways to get around the parks, but they are so much fun. The captains are amazing and they make the ride almost like an attraction itself. So quick little story time, just because we think about it so much, we want to share it with you. HHN 29, <laughs> we had a captain of our boat taking us back to our hotel um, after a long night at HHN. Mm -hmm. And it is one of the most memorable experiences of our lives. Like we talk about it all the time, especially anytime we're around my brother and sister-in-law. Mm -hmm. um, we talk about this captain and how much fun he made that trip. Uh, yeah. We had a blast at HHN that night, mm -hmm. but I don't really remember much about that night in HHN. No. I remember the boat ride yeah. Yeah. back and it was because we had, we were dancing and we were singing and this guy was just incredible. We regret so much not remembering his name. Yeah. It was on the back end of our trip. We were so tired, but mm -hmm. it was, it's honestly one of our fondest memories. We had even joked around, sort of joked around about trying to find out who he was mm -hmm. and trying to like reserve him for our wedding to be like <laughs> our only, like the guy who drove our boat our water back, taxi. back and forth. Um, seriously, like. These, like the team members sometimes go above and beyond yeah. and they created this memory for us that we laugh about till this day. Quick tip, if you aren't staying at one of the resorts that offers the free water taxi, mm -hmm. um, I guess more specifically for Aventura and Cabana Bay, mm -hmm. those are both walking distance to Sapphire Falls, which offers the water taxi. Um, you can technically walk over there and get on to the boats. We've done it ourselves. However, be warned, we have seen a couple of times where they were checking room keys right. to make sure you were staying at the resort that was offering that service. But more times than not, 
they just let you ride on the boat. Right. But we don't want to tell you that, oh, you can do it every time because we have seen people get turned away in the past. When leaving the parks, you could just head back to wherever you were dropped off. So the water taxi docks or the main entrance to City Walk. Or if you're feeling spicy, you can switch it up a little bit. <laughs> Say you got dropped off by the bus and you are just feeling wild. Maybe take a water taxi back. World your oyster. <laughs> Just follow the signs that lead you back to your hotel, or you can take a bus or a water taxi to a different hotel, yeah. which is something that we get asked about a lot. People want to know, hey, I want to go pull hop at the Hard Rock for the day, or yeah. maybe you want to go eat at Portofino Bay, and they want to know, how do I get from my hotel to a different hotel? And the way that you do this is you can go from your hotel to City Walk, and then catch a bus from city walk to whichever resort taxi. you're trying to get to yeah and there's also a lot of the resorts are walking distance between each other right. but we just want to clarify there isn't any hotel to hotel transportation they don't offer that right um if that is something that you're wanting to do specifically you are going to have to get an uber or something like that to get you between the two if you're wanting to get to Volcano Bay, yeah. the easiest way to get there from most of the hotels is going to be the bus. Yeah, they have a dedicated bus that takes you just to Volcano Bay. Right, but if you're staying at either Adventura or Cabana Bay, the quickest way is going to be to walk from either of those resorts. Yeah, it's like a five-minute walk mm -hmm. from both of those resorts. And actually, Cabana Bay is a little bit faster because they have their own dedicated entrance into Volcano Bay. All right, guys, that wraps it up for today's video. Leave us a comment in the comment section and let us know, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. You can hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification so you get an alert every time we post a new video. I'm an airplane. Thanks for watching.